Hello everyone and welcome back to Strike Zone with St. Paul Saints manager George Stamis. Strike Zone is a weekly program that gives you the fans the opportunity to ask the St. Paul manager questions about the Saints, baseball or sports in general, or just seek George's wisdom about life events that are going on. In this week's episode, George provides some team updates for us. He provides for us his insights on the upcoming season, and George supports a wife's belief on how much of a weenie her husband may be. So let's get right to Strike Zone. Well, let's welcome back manager George Samus. George, before we start, season three with me. So you got to be kind of amazed that you made it this far with me this one. Yeah, we're doing good here together. Here, this is this has been a long time. We're keep it going though. We're doing good. Well, why don't you uh, tell us some team updates you might have for us? Um, well, since we've since we've last talked, there's been obviously a few changes. Um, you know, we've made a few changes here. Um, you know. Kyle Roller, Kyle Roller is no longer with the team, and it's um, too bad the way it worked out. With that, you know, he deserved a chance, and maybe he—it wasn't a fair deal for him. Um, it just—it um, just didn't work out, and, and again, it's—it's it's an unfortunate thing. And he's going to go to Somerset, and hopefully, he goes there and has a good year. So it just—just just had to do with, um, you know. We, we just we just couldn't keep him around. We had some problems at different positions where we had to move Tony Thomas over to first base and play second some and Brady should make a DH some. So it just got a little crowded at the first base DH spot. So that's basically what happened. Well, before we head into fan questions, I first of all want to talk to you a couple, about a couple things. The rotation was really looking strong about a month ago. You've had some injuries. Are, are there moves you're looking to make at this point or where do you stand? Yeah, like I always tell you, on paper, you look at the rotation before we start, and we like you like your starters. We have good starters, and um, but obviously we had a couple injuries to Robert Coe and Kramer Sneed. Um, so currently we have four starters here. Um, the first couple of games, starters are throwing well, and we're looking okay. And um, But the other spot, we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, we'll deal with this over the next day or so, and we're really not sure how, how it is going to play out. There's been some uh, talk out there about Alonzo Harris not being happy at York. Do you see him maybe returning to the Saints? Oh, he's an outstanding player. He's an outstanding center fielder for us. Um, exciting player. Um, I This is the first I've heard of this, and he's under contract with another team, so I really can't discuss him. Well, let's head to fan questions. We first of all begin with Jill from St. Paul. She says, without Alonzo Harris in the lineup, do you see yourself returning to the idea of looking for the big home run instead of running as much? You know, it's... It, game by game, you, you know, again, you just never know. Because again, even we started with, with the lineup on paper, we like, okay, we have some guys hit the ball with a fence, and um, but again, it's just they have to go out there and get it done. So, so we'll see what happens here. I mean, we've tried a couple of things. Danny O has let off a couple of times. Tim Caldwell is going to lead off um, in the first game today. So, we will just see what happens. But it, it's tough to replace him. He's an outstanding player, and you know, it's just too bad it didn't work out with him. Chuck from Edinburgh Grove Heights would like to know how competitive you see Salina being this season. I wasn't so sure about that until I saw they won yesterday. So, um, and to beat Wichita, that's right. That says it right there. They beat Wichita, so they can beat anybody because Wichita has been one of the best teams in this league for the last six, seven years, and anybody can beat anybody. John would like to know what the heck happened to Laredo. That's a good question. I really don't know. I, I really don't know the situation. They're just not here anymore, and it's. It's an unfortunate thing. I know you're missing that 20-hour bus ride. Right? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> We're flying to Texas this year, so it's all good. <laughs> Billy from Anoka would like to know, who do you see needing to step into the leadership role now that Vinny is gone? Yeah, we have a few guys that are, um, Nate Henson, you know, he's he's not the loudest guy, but he's he showed some leadership, Tony Thomas as well, and, and you know, Hamburger with the personality, this guy, he's... He's right there behind the guys and helping guys out, and so we have a few guys that can do it, and um, you know. But it's he missed Vinny. He was a great guy to have, and uh, but somebody else will step up and get it done. Chris from St. Paul points out that Angelo Sanko is having a good season so far in the Atlantic League. Yes, he um, not surprised there too because he was a really good player for us for three years, and uh, he's off to a good start. I believe he has seven home runs already, and that doesn't surprise me at all. And I hope he continues to keep swinging it. Ivan from Rochester asks, he says, I don't know if you know, but Mike Suzalek has been on the DL for the Bay Sox. Is that one of those fan of DL things, or is he actually hurt? I think he's actually hurt, because I did ask him. He said his elbow, um, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. That was over a month and a half ago when I asked him, so I really haven't followed it too much, but it really is an injury. 
turn into a little major league baseball. Ben from Minneapolis would like to know if you see this, the Twins being able to stay in first. Why not? They're playing good, and um, in that division, it's you know, there's it's not um, the strongest division. So anybody can win that division. Anybody can finish in last place. You just don't know. And I'm glad they're playing well, and I hope they keep it going. Ethan from Rochester asks. He says, "I listened to Joe Madden talking about." the shift to basically four outfielders becoming something that will be a regular thing in baseball. What are your thoughts on this? You know what? Last year, and it's funny you say that, because last year in the game against Fargo when Dela Cruz was up, um, we, I almost threw another guy out in the outfield. I just put all four guys on the right side of the infield. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. I don't think it's a bad idea. And um, At times, if you have a left-handed hitter that's a direct pull hitter, see, that's one thing I like about him. He tries different things. He has no problem taking a chance trying something, but I've actually thought of doing that and um, you know, obviously not the whole time, but it's just, you never know. If there's a pull hitter up and he pulls everything and he has 20 home run potential, you know, there's probably a better chance of him hitting a line drive down the right field line than hitting a ground ball to third base or even the shortstop. So I honestly don't think that's a bad idea. Maybe we'll see it. I would think too when you have a big home run hitter like that. If he wants to bunt to get on first, let, let him do it. Let so. him do it. It's that's the thing. Let him do it. Carl from Minneapolis asks. He says, "How do you think that this kid Judge will be with the Yankees? Is this a hot start or just an aberration?" You know, he um, it's a great start for him, and that's a big guy. That's like Team Carlos Stanton big, and good for him. And that's what's good. Those young guys to come up and get the job done. It's great, and hopefully, he keeps doing it for him. Amy from Richfield would like to know, who are your World Series picks for the season? Well, before the season, I said the Red Sox and the Cubs, and not that I care, but that's what I said. Um, it's it's um, not looking like that so far, but it's a long season, and I guess we'll see what happens. Our next question comes from Mikey from Maplewood. He says, George, Pete Rose Jr. said that baseball is better than football. A Rose said that. you got to say that that is wrong. Um, well, he thinks baseball is better than football, so that's... That's what he should say, correct? I, I, actually, I think that he had that question wrong. Pete said that football was better than baseball. Okay, well, maybe he enjoys watching it better. I, I can understand it. Um, I enjoy watching football. I enjoy watching baseball. But, um, you know, football is exciting. So that is, it is a close one. But um, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to say that baseball is pretty good, too. Cause, but I really do enjoy it. That's the one sport that I really do enjoy watching is football. Our next question comes from Paul from Savage. Do you see anyone hitting 400 again? You know, I don't remember the last time anybody got close. It's tough to do, but um, I haven't really followed it. I don't know if anybody's even close to it now. Um, it's tough to do, so if they do do it, that's great for them. But when was the last guy that was close? Was it like George Brett, like 390 or something one year? I, I, I don't recall it, but that's tough to do. I think Tony Gwynn had like 393 or okay. something. Well, he was outstanding. Like, yeah, like 30 years ago or something. Yeah, so. it's tough to do, man. I, I, I don't know. If it would be great if it happened. It would be great for baseball if somebody did it. Jerome from St. Paul says, Why did Adrian Peterson opt for, the, for to go to New Orleans? That makes no sense to me at all. You, you know, who knows? Obviously, the Vikings didn't bring him back. and um, you know Sometimes things don't... Um, it's tough to find a job. Maybe people didn't want to take you know, the chance on with his injuries. He's getting a little bit older. Um, you hope he can still be a great player, but you just don't know that. And maybe that was his only choice. I mean, do we really know what happened there? Do we really know why he signed with the Saints? Maybe that was his only offer. Maybe that's what he wanted to do. Who knows? Mitch from Hudson asks, why are left-handers always considered so zany? I don't know. Sometimes... That's the way it is. Lefties are weirdos sometimes, and I've been called one, and <laughs> there's some weird guys with lefties. <laughs> what, what was Bill Lee? He used to be like Moon Unit or something? Like yeah, he was, yeah. Obviously, I've seen a few of the clips of him, and um, yeah, there's some weirdos out there. Our next question is from Ashley from San Diego. She says, you have to force Rob to bat against you this year. Anytime he wants to come up for batting practice, he can jump in there and take some swings, and and he would probably enjoy it. It'd be fun for him. I'm afraid because you told me you would throw at me last uh, a couple of years ago. Well, then I was kidding because I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would throw you. I would try to throw you pitches right down the middle so you could smoke them right back at me. Melody from South St. Paul asks. She says, "Is it true that Blacklist Redemption has already been canceled? I only watched a couple of episodes, but was not impressed." Yeah, I'm not really sure. I watched it too. It was okay. Um, it's tough to top. Um, it's just not the Blacklist, so it's just it's just tough to top it and. 
Um, but I still watch the blacklist and I, and I enjoy that. And George has me hooked on that now. So. Our last question this week comes from Irritated Wife. She says, George, I love your relationship advice, so here is one for you. My husband was mad at me about something and didn't feel comfortable telling me himself, so he had his mother call me to talk to me about it. I told him on the weenie scale he was at a nine, but he did not agree. I'm right, right? Not that I'm the guy for the advice, but I happen to agree with you that it probably wasn't the right thing to do. To, he probably should not have... Um, at his mother call. I think that's probably not the right thing to do. Thanks for joining us today, George. Thank you. We want to thank Manager George Samus for joining us on Strike Zone this week. If you have your own questions you'd like to ask the St. Paul Saint Skipper, please send them to us at AskGeorge at MinorLeagueSportsReport.com. That's AskGeorge at MinorLeagueSportsReport.com. Please have your questions to us by Saturday evening so we can give George a little time to review them before we record the show. I'm Rob Pinnear, the Managing Editor of the Minor League Sports Report. We'll see you next time on Strike Zone.